don't hire salespeople based on the assumption that 100% commission as their only source of compensation is the right way to go. Give them some sort of base. And that's kind of the starting point for my comments. We tend to want to hire salespeople and say they're no cost on us unless they generate revenue, and then the revenue they generate will self-fund their position. So we're good as business owners. The challenge is if they're not generating sales, they're not getting compensation. And if they're not getting compensation, good salespeople are going to figure out how to make a living one way or another. They're going to start doing something else. Because there's nothing that really ties them to your organization. The other factor is, if they're not generating a high level of sales, or even if they are, their value becomes purely in getting that next deal through the door. So my question is, is it the right deal? Is it the right kind of customer? Is it the right kind of business for your company to be profitable? It may be transactionally, it's a sale, they make a nice commission on it, but it's the kind of client that costs you more to service and take care of that it's worth to have. How can you tell that salespeople they brought the, the salesperson they brought in the wrong client? So wait a minute, you told me to go make sales. I did. That was a sale. Count the widgets. They're there. <coughs> Pay me my commission. <coughs> but we actually had a net loss on the last three clients you brought in the door. Not my problem. I'm doing what you've hired me to do. How can you change that behavior? Well, I'm going to fire you because you're not bringing the right people in. Oh, gosh, that's a misalignment of expectations. I'm bringing you sales. I very much believe in having some sort of base compensation level because that base compensation <coughs> becomes we're paying you a base and then we're paying you an incentive bonus on top of that that's a commission. So that we, but we, for that, have certain expectations around behavior, how you interact with others in the workplace, how you're spending your time, and you're putting that base compensation, not just your commission, at risk if you're not complying with working with the sort of values and expectations we set up as an organization. You've got much more leverage as an employer. <coughs> Give you an example. Back in the old days with our mortgage company, we hired 100% commission-based mortgage lenders. And it was great. Whenever they do a deal, they booked it, they got paid. We'd give them a draw on their commission. That was fine until the sales started drying up because the economic cycle hit. We'd find that, guess what, the kinds of deals they were bringing in were not the kinds of deals we really wanted to have on the books. They qualified, yes, but it wasn't the ideal thing that we wanted. But why did they keep bringing them in? Because they were easy to grab. They could grab them and bring them in the door. What did we do? Look at completely shifting that 100% compensation mix to saying, look, you've got 40% base, you've got another top off, you can do another 60% in commission. But in exchange for that, we've got some expectations in terms of the type of business you're bringing in, how you're bringing in, what else you're doing. What happened to the organization as a result of that? Much better quality in what we had to work with. We had business coming in that we could cross-sell and further develop. It wasn't just the stuff coming in that all we were getting was the mortgage, but that didn't make our business tick. We needed the cross-sell that the retail bankers were going to do after the mortgage lender got the mortgage, and they could connect with wealth management, investment brokerage, retail banking, and cross-sell the heck out of that client because it was a better target for our company overall. So think carefully about how you construct your compensation. How you build your commission structure is greatly going to drive the kind of business that salesperson goes after and brings in because you're creating an incentive for a set of behaviors to accomplish a result aware of the unintended consequences
consequences if you structure your compensation and haven't thought around the edges around what sort of results that compensation opportunity is going to generate through the incentive to bring dollars into the salesperson's pocket. So just be cautious about 